what I've West Total. What we're doing here, this is the tier list for um, yesterday. I want to make the font bigger on, on Notepad. Um. Unlucky. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Just I just refer to the old one. I just just start it with the way. Uh, we need to do a few new ones. SS it's here, and uh, we should do this color, whatever. Up in the top we go. We should do A plus. A plus tier. Okay, you get a blue one. We might not. We might need to change the colors. B e plus. B e plus tier. There's one for every color. All right, S S S A plus A B plus B C D. Do we need more? Right, I'm gonna just put it. <sighs> well, this might just take some time. I'm just gonna search for the guards. Let me put it in like this. Mercury. Bella. Dodgy. Rackney. Just gonna put it in like this. It might take a bit of time. Just put a bit of similarity to it. And then we can move them up and down. A Achilles. Oh, Quang. Evo. And that's. I still have West Shuttle. Nemesis. Havana. Four. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna throw in all the guards. I'll put two in there. Probably not the best way to do it now because then we might have, then we might miss a guard or something, but it shouldn't matter too much. Also, set is fucking OP now. Uh, did I put Moonlight in there? Yeah. Hercules. Apollo. You should just start from the top, honestly. Ares. Did I put Archer in there or that? Amy in there. Put Nibis in here. Acne in here. The Willex. Athena. Astad. Lona. We put Jange. Nope. I will be actually adding one more tier. He should be down here. What the hell is going on? We're just getting all the guards and then we're doing a tier list. And this guard is in now. I have not tried him jungle yet. So he should be unknown probably. In I'm just getting all the guards in right now, and then I'm gonna set it up like it was stuck here. I did all the guards in. I just had at who you whatever. You can hop in if you okay. I mean, let's go. I'm just gonna set it up real fast, Cherry. Just gonna set it up. Um, 
Is there any other guy we should add here? We last by Morrigan. This is going to be a tier list for what I expect it to be. We had Chang'e in. I can't do the photo, yeah. Uh, Freya could be considered a jungle now as well. I guess put this guy in. Kabrak in here as well. Um, I'll call you on Discord, Jerry. I don't know if we need any other guard now. Oh, this is... Oh, we need to put them in the correct order now. What up, Jerry? Hey, what's up? Alright. Um, I was going to put everything in the order as I had it on the... Um, the old tier list. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, sure. Because this is what I did yesterday, but obviously there's a new patch right now, so... Oh, you did it yesterday? Yeah, <laughs> the day before, which is kind of stupid, but it's just so I can have something to... Like, to compare it to. Uh, um, I am the Lear. Have you played Heim Jungle? Yeah, I was grinding it at the beginning of the season. Yeah, I remember. Then it that. got banned. It kept, and it kept getting banned and ranked anyways as well. So it's actually so good in jungle. Yeah, I like it. But I don't really play it though. Like you would literally like one shot uh, people. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing, right? He has the possibility to do one shot, but you also have the possibility to play like a edit carry. Yeah. All right, so there might be some guards and maybe some items that hasn't been that you haven't tried as well. So it's hard to get like the full overview right now, but it's just like an early idea of the. Yeah, for sure. Um, why are they not alphabetic right now? But where's Amy? I'll share the um, screen on Discord as well, so you can see it from there. There's no delay. I need to find Amy. Oh, she's already up here. Is this... I think that's the problem. Fina down. Wait, should I add B plus B to your C tier? How should you put everything at this down in D? Um... Yeah, probably. Poor Loki. And Red was here. Eris down. <laughs> Loki and Kazembo, fuck them. I'm just gonna put this down here. I, add, I added um, Freya to the list as well. I only played it once and I went like 2 and 8, so. Yeah. I would probably put it in E if it was me. <laughs> if it's me on Freya. <laughs> Alright. But this is how it started, probably, right? Okay. Uh, let me just see here. Anubis. I think I have one guard too much up here. There's a Willix. That should be somewhat fine. I was going to go completely full screen here. Okay. Wait, should we add one more tier? Because there's space for it. Like a uh, I think... Probably fine, right? I think you don't need more right. than like what we have, probably. Uh, probably just start from the top and then down. Okay, uh, Nike Defo goes down because if uh, like all the all the other junglers are really good in tier and then Sunder as well. Yeah, Sunder right. doesn't really fuck her that much, right? I right, I just did a quick intro, uh, Cherry. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Uh, tier list for might mid season patch. Uh, it's just an early preview of what the. What we think and then we have chair with us on on comms who's gonna give his inputs and ideas about the the tier list and this tier list is the one we did from last patch we did that yesterday basically one day before the patch came out so not the smartest but now we're gonna see like we played like ranked for a bit today and all the changes and all that so we're gonna go out from that hello cherry hello what's up not much just been playing ranked for eight hours i think oh god oh uh, all right, Nike obviously goes down. You said there's Thunder, there's uh, the kind of meta guards that are really good into her because of the AI damage and all that. Yeah. What do you think she would go to? She got nerfed a bit as well. The items <sighs> doesn't fit her that well. I think, think she definitely doesn't go below A, but I'm not sure if it's A or A. Plus. I think yeah. probably A would I, be the safe bet. I would say A as well. Yeah, let's put her A then. Uh, Mercury. You items. I... <laughs> 
I'm not sure. I personally think, like, from my point of view, Merc struggles into other auto attack gods. Like, not struggles, but I feel like they actually out trade him, most of them. Yeah. I but he, he did get better, obviously, I, with the I, buff. I, I can agree to that. Um, I mean, I probably just didn't stay in S. I don't know if, if you say he goes a bit down because. Yeah. No, if this is a ranked tier list, he probably stays in yeah, S for sure. This but... is for ranked. I mean, obviously, Mercury is very potent with lane ganks and, and itemization with crit and all that. Mm-hmm. Kelly? I mean, mm, that, that guy I is think she OP. definitely stays. Yeah, yeah, I think she definitely stays. Maybe, does she go up? No, no, it doesn't go up for sure. I mean, the, the new items doesn't really fit her that well, right? She just does the kind of old build. Yeah, I think Berserkers is good on her, but that's the only item that would build on Kelly. Because, yeah. you know, when you get low, obviously it, it works yeah, on yeah. that when you're in your ult. Like 20% attack speed and 20% physical and 20 power? Yeah, 20 power and attack speed. You know, it's not like, bad. Pretty good stats on that item, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pe Sadly, Peli has to go down. Yeah. There's not really any items that goes with her. I think Soldier that got a bit worse. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it really doesn't work as well. I, I think she also loses to like some of the AI guards. Like, a will do good into her. Kayla does good. And Nimi and Fox are really hard as well. Oh, so. Yeah. For your ultimate, especially. Yeah. Um, I think she probably goes down to A because she's still really good early game, like probably the best jungler with Erlang, like like level five and well, pretty much from level one really. Like she has really good early game ganks and stuff. She could snowball the game really easily, so she probably doesn't go like to B plus tier, but I think probably yeah, I'm, A. I, I'm down to go for A here, even though I love that guard. I'll put up here first to me, <laughs> but I have to be a bit uh, a bit yeah. fair. Yeah. Um, I think. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know. I think that's think... fucked. Yeah, I don't think that you like I don't even know if I think she was A plus, but I put her up there just because like she, she has like pos a possible to like if no other guards have CC mid ultimates, like no CC immunity and, and like the one shots and all that. She can do so good, but obviously her early game is like way too bad into Golden Blade and all that stuff now. Yeah, I think she actually got I think she's the jungle that will go down the most out of any of the gods because Nemean completely fucks that god like really hard. She cannot do any damage. Yeah. Like Shadow already fucked that god, and then Nemean's in the game now. If I carry by his Nemean, you cannot kill him ever again. And then her early game, like she just gets outscaled. I think, but all, right, all the junglers they're better than her early and they're better than her late. Yeah. So yeah. I think she she goes down to like B at least, like B plus or B in my opinion. Yeah, I mean. I would think B. I probably have to move all these like further down, like change that because we added like two more tiers. Yeah, right? yeah. But but we'll yeah. we go through that. I'm about to put it down to B, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't mind that. And Emiya was one auto attack block, but it's two now, right? No, it's two. It's yeah. like like I played against Daji today and it's like I built Nimi, and every time you go on her, she just can't like do anything. She just has to run. She doesn't have any. <laughs> and then if I can play the shell. Yeah. Uh uh, Arachne. I think Arachne goes up. For I do sure. believe that. I think the Sierra the Blade is probably an item that's like literally perfect for her. Yeah, um, for sure. And she already had Golden Blade buff, helped her with the last patch a lot as well. Yeah. So, and then I could see Berserkers maybe working on her as well. Yeah, I tried Berserkers. Uh, it feels pretty good. Uh, I probably. Yeah. I don't know what's considered SST, maybe red or something. I probably just put it to S. I think maybe we put everything in, like, don't put anything in SS until we put everything in S, and then we're like, okay, who's the best, like, who would be the right, best right. jungle out of all of these? And That's then a good we idea. Put that in SS. Uh, maybe it's going to be confusing with all the guards who's already here because we already went through some of them, but I guess they get put in the back, maybe? Yeah, they got put in the back. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, Bakasura. I don't uh, think Baka benefits from Serrated, so I'm not sure if he actually goes up. I still think he's like, the only problem with Becca is he gets hot countered by like some other junglers. Like sometimes if you're playing him into like Hebo or Nem or Ao, you, they kind of just do yeah. way better than you. I mean, that's the thing with like tier list, right? Is everything is matchup dependent and like sure. Like it, it is a bit hard to say. Like I, I think Becca is still good. He has the possibility to outfarm everybody and like literally hyper carry so easy. Uh, and of course, Golden Blade is just. Yeah, really I think he has the same potential to hyper carry as the, all the gods in S tier right now, so he probably goes S, honestly. But like, you could keep him A plus as well. Like, it doesn't. It depends on like who what's good with. Carry. He's definitely the best at farming by far because of his passive. Like, he can outfarm anyone on the map. But I think he has less carry potential. Yeah. Like mid mid game especially. Yeah, I think I just give him A plus for now. 
Yeah. Uh, I probably said that. I agree, actually. Uh, Achilles. I like the guard personally. I think Golden Blade was a little bit of a buff for him because he could struggle a he bit. He can actually like, clear. Early game clear. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously when you got like two, three power items online, you can literally just one shot people. You have like really solid A cancels on the guard. Um, but I don't know, like, I think he gets fucked by like a wreck Nikali and stuff. Yeah, he does it a lot better into like ability based junglers than auto attack based junglers. Uh, I played him with Golden Blade, it felt good, but you, you would still get outfarmed by other, like, other gods that actually use Golden Blade well, you know, like Arachne or uh, Baka. So I'm not sh- I, I think A is probably fine. I don't think he's like a B tier, but may- maybe like other gods will get shifted and he have to move down. But I think we can leave him A for now, honestly. Yeah, I agree on that. But- like I think he has really good potential to hyper K a rank game, I guess, which is why you probably leave him A. Like if because he he literally one shots people and he has his, his passive is really OP. So. Yeah, and he has sustain and like good mobility, right? Like the ultimate you can use that as a gap close, execute with it, like get out with it. I, I think like A is a fair thing. Yeah. Erlang Shen. I have not tried I him yet person- actually. I- I've tried them. I personally think he should go up because he actually works really well with serrated edge. Yeah, that's what I was talking about on stream as well. Like, it's probably one of the better guards with Arachne with that item. Yeah, I think Erling's only issue is he actually has too many good items. I don't know what to build. Like, you want to build <laughs> so many items on him, it's really hard to decide. Yeah, yeah. What I mean, to build? Early mid game, really good. If you have full damage, then late game you can literally one shot people as well. Yeah, he also has like the best early game out of all the junglers for sure. Like he like level four, five, six. Like he just he has CC and he one shots junglers who don't have beats. But he he like he I don't think he can ever hyper carry a game. Like because he doesn't have I don't know, like a lot of AOE burst. Like he's not back out. Doesn't have back out. Doesn't have like resets like Kali, You know. Yeah. So it's or, or like crits like Merc. So it's harder for him to hyper carry. But I think just because how how good he is early. He's definitely like better than Achilles, you know. I th- he probably put him A plus, right? Yeah, I mean, I-, I can see that. The reason I didn't put him too high before is like I talked a bit about like uh, like cribbles and like if you first back Erlang, there's like a lot of counters that can like literally just mess him up. Yeah, um, I agree. But he has like the, <laughs> the the like the strongest early game. I can agree to that. It's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, onto Quang. Recently buffed. Definitely yes. <laughs> a new that item. Got well. is... Yeah, the new item and the two the two buffs are honestly like whatever. I don't even think people know that he got buffed his abilities. Yeah. But like his three buff like his three used to be seven and they nerfed it to nine and then now it's back to seven again. And, the and with the passive, the passive then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so lame. It like, feels really nice. Like it, it, you you would like start the gank by using your three and then by the time they're about to die, you have another three. Yeah. So it actually feels really nice like, with ganked. And then also, he, he always liked item that gave him like life to land attack speed, and now he has one that he can build. So yeah, exactly. Like I, I was always considering like usually the build path what you would start like I would at least say is either you go Bancroft or you go Tilikines. There's like yeah. plus and minuses to both. Like Tilikines better clear probably, and Bancroft like give you a bit of life steal, a bit better burst maybe. Not even better burst actually. But now you have like Rinna Kate, which does both <laughs> pretty good honestly yeah so it's like I- a mix of bankrupts and telek or not really telekines but like just having bo- like a lot of power and attack speed yeah, yeah like yeah. you're not missing anything and he does really well into like uh i'd say he does really well into cali baka merc yeah because yeah. the guys don't, don't really want to build anteal as well and they ha- they ha- literally have to if they ever want to kill you they they're forced yeah. to go toxic mid. Bring up and, the it, like, to build strong, and if there's no anteal like Find that with a typhoon or something like you cannot die if they don't have until yeah yeah i can agree it's s uh hebo i've not played him in that's some time so actually th- this is hard because hebo does extremely well into every single god that's in s and a plus yeah but but i don't know how well can he clear now with like the the uh, the 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 buffs changing or whatever oh because the buffs got more health and stuff and he's like way more yeah. focused on aoe clear yeah, all, all the buffs are tank here. And also, like, technically, assassins are better in jungle now because assassins really give seven power. Yeah. And seven magical power is obviously really shit, like, compared to seven physical power. And I guess when it comes to mana as well, you get a bit less because blue buff is not, like, smalls anymore. Like, I don't know, are you going to have mana trouble on Hebo because it takes longer time to clear? Yeah, I think 
like I think uh, I can't like I'm, I can't give a hundred percent answer. I think you know, he'll still be fine because I played AO and your clear was fine. Uh, yeah, but obviously have like, more attack speed, and he he can. I mean, you probably just go room. You might have to like cha- like go CDR brutes instead of power brutes now because you need more mana, yeah. or you'd have to go like do more or something instead of going like Bancroft stuff like that. But I think I think he definitely like completely destroys all the go- maybe not AO like let me fuck AO, but he's really good into Arachne, Kali, Merc, and Baka. There's so an outplay de- potential into all of them, and like the carbon yeah. just does go good. Yeah, so- I-, I think he's he should go up probably right. To uh, A plus or what? I wouldn't say S. Yeah, definitely not S. It's just hard to put him A plus because, like, like yeah, actually, yeah, I put him A plus for sure. Cause I think you can kind of confidently pick Hebo knowing <laughs> you're gonna like if you're like in like plaid gold to diamond masters. I'm pretty sure you're always gonna be playing against one of the top junglers in my opinion, like A plus and above. And I feel like you can always pick Hebo. And yeah. honestly, no one really counters Hebo. Like I'd say, Ravana and Thor maybe are good in Tebow, but the, no one actually like fucks him completely. So he's not actually like a risky pick, I think. Yeah, I mean, I guess just if you fall a bit behind, then he gets like fucked by everybody. But that goes yeah, like a true. lot of junglers. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, since he does good into all of them, it would be sad to put him lower, right? Because yeah, you don't always have to first pick uh, your jungler, right? Only if you're first pick and high, it'll like me and Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, Nemesis. Uh, I don't. She seems pretty good. I know she people should go up. She should go up, but I don't know if she should. Like on paper, she got better, but I haven't actually played her yet. But I've played against uh, Nem, and uh, it was kind of. I played her. She, to, she felt really strong. I played her today. I mean, I, I feel like she feels good. I tried the new items. They feel pretty good on her too. Um, she does good into like let's say Bakasua for example, like straight up counter. It does pretty good into Alquang as well. Yeah, um, not 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 bad into Kali as well because yeah. you like you win the trade without your shield and then as soon as she stuns you can just shield every time. So so Nemesis of all like what would you say like is that a golden blade rush every game or do you go Crusher still? Do you go Jordan some games? I I go I go golden blade just because I think the item is like bloated and if you use it you should build it. Like I wouldn't build it on like Thor you know because he doesn't yeah, need yeah. it at all. But you could use it on Nem and also like I. I personally like having the flexibility to pr- m- potentially max my three or like put extra points in my three if uh, I'm into if I'm into AO for example like I'm I'll put a couple points in my three and you know try to play on that yeah, uh, yeah. that that does make sense I'm like yeah bit, I'm a bit up and down yeah, but like I don't I go Crusher or Golden Blade like, honestly it's fifty fifty right now. If I think you can definitely go both, but it's just playstyle dependent. I think. I think Golden yeah. Blade makes the game really easy. Like, yeah, I guess to... like Golden Blade. Like, when you, if you have to split push as well, do a wave or something, it's just insta clear. Yeah. Um, would you say it goes up or would you say it's still a? I think goes up. Like, I, I think it goes up because when you can, compare it to the gods that are like in the A tier, I think she would just be better. Yeah. Than the gods that are in A tier, you know. Yeah. Uh, Humbats used to be one of my favorite guards, also just for ranked, but then cooldown problems, build buff, path problems a bit. Like not getting CDR if you need to go brawlers. I mean, 120 second cooldown on an ultimate is yeah. pretty long. Yeah, like, like if, the, if the god has to go brawlers, which used to be the case, kind of because of soul laners, but now also a Catly, Nemesis, a Hebo maybe with lifesteal, AO, like... You're gonna have to go brawlers. I think it really fucks your build path. I think it make it makes them really ho- awkward to build. Like ideally, you want like Jotun's Hydras and your or like Jotun's yeah. Erendite maybe. And I don't think he can do that against a lot of these gods. But I think he's balanced. Like I think a- Humbus most of the time is just A tier. Like he's always fine. Yeah, he can pick him any game, but he, like he's not gonna win you. Like he's not gonna win the game. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of like the same, but staying on A. It's hard, man. Like, I think the AA junglers, most of them kind of do really good into him. But yeah. I guess sometimes, as Humbat, you can also do really good into them. Like, you can be the setup for your team. Yeah, like, I think, like, a lot of the gods that are in A right now, like, you, you, you could outplay, like, a lot of the AA junglers, but if the if if the AA junglers play it well enough, they should always win the 1v1. They just they just have more damage than you, and they some of them have lifesteal. Yeah, like with like with Achilles, you could as well with Ravana, which we're gonna go into next. You could outplay the AA junglers, but it's like way harder. Like you actually have to 
to think like to think when you're playing like what to do with age only you just hold left click and run at them you know yeah you don't really have to think on those <laughs> those yeah top eight guards right now all right i'm just gonna yeah. keep them at eight i think that's fair yeah for sure rowana i personally really like ravana like i always thought he's really underplayed uh, like uh, I thought, he's really good into the in like the current mage meta and the junglers, but obviously that changed. I still think he does really well into the uh, auto attack gods because he can like kind of like hit them and run away. Like he has uh, the two that like, really helps a lot with like disengaging from them. But he should get really out from like he should get really out pressured early. I mean, like Ravana doesn't actually is pretty bad early game, like level five and stuff. He doesn't do that much damage. So you, like you, you're gonna pick him, and you're gonna give all the gods that are above you like a free early game. So I'm not sure if that's what you want to do. I do agree. Like, Out farm like golden blade guards kind of will just screw him over. And then again, like as I said, five, even like a bit after five, I don't even think like okay, if it comes down to killing a mage or a carry, maybe you can do it better than some of these guards, right? But yeah. You need to get like further in the game, and then late game, I think. I I mean, he is a mage killer kind of. Yeah, he just kills mages and hunters, like... But he would lose, like, he should lose 1v1 to the other gods, but he, he kind of destroys, carries late game, because of his ult, like, mitigation and extra damage. Yeah. He just, like, with Arendite as well, like, they can't run away. But, like, I think he actually, like, he's a late game god, that I actually think he's going to struggle to get late game against these gods. And I don't know if you want to get... I don't I don't think you match these gods late game. Like, yeah. Very, really. So would you, would you put him, like, would you consider putting him down? Or do you like let him stay at A? I I think I'd probably keep him at A for now. Yeah, I mean he yeah, has potential yeah. to carry. Like he's blink free one, whatever you want to do is still like good damage. And he's he's one of like the hardest gods to peel for sure. Like because yeah. he he gets so much range if with his blink and ult, and then his two obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd keep him A. Yeah, I had four. I think I'll leave this one to you. I personally hate Thor. I just don't like the god at all. I, um, I fucking hate I, this guy, dude. <laughs> I think he actually gets worse now, honestly. Yeah, I think but, I think AA guards. I always said like, if I play Pele into Thor, like also just in this build, like I feel like it's if, so if easy. If you just get the engage on Thor, he's just so fucked. But yeah, if you fall behind you just and, run at him. and Thor has control, then sure, Thor is really good because he has like a, a bit of setup and also like one shot potential. But I really don't like him as like the hyper carry because he can't really. Uh, I guess he can hyper carry in some games, but I don't know. To me, she goes down. But I think if we go down, everyone's gonna be like, "Really, Thor going down?" But like, I would put him down. But I think A is fine. Like, I, but I actually think he loses to all the junglers above him. Maybe not Merc because of the wall. Like, but I, like if I'm playing any of the other gods, like I'm not scared of running a Thor. Yeah, ever. honestly, I think I put him down. Like, I I think if I look at these guards and I, like look matchup, like just straight up one of ones, and I mean I guess it's rough to say one of ones, and then look at Ravana also being A. So okay, four stays A. Yeah, let's let's keep him A. Uh, Nike, we did we did Nike and Pele. Uh, done. B I feel like plus. honestly, like I would move Nike down, but. I think people really like I'd leave her here now, but I think people really struggle playing against Nike for some reason. Like the carries, because obviously they see the shield and they get really scared, even though she's like not a tank. She just like that's like two extra autos or one extra crit from a hunter. Like I think she will move down. Like I think next patch she's definitely gonna move down, but I think for now until people like I, I uh, haven't even seen her play her today. Stuff. Like nobody has played over Ben today. So I, uh, I'm, so, I'm not Sino, sure. Sino played her against me one game, but it, it doesn't feel. Like she's definitely not good into the gods above her, but I think she's yeah. still really annoying for the the carry. So probably leave her a. Eh? It should be good into some mages as well, right? And and some hunters. You definitely yeah. expect that still, but yeah. I uh, B plus. I don't even know what I would describe B plus guards as because like it's guards who still do good. It's guards who still have like outplay potential and and like damage to to kill people. And I think. I, Mm -hmm. I, I guess B plus, B plus is just right below A. It's like the gods that could do good into the gods above them, but probably like you don't want to pick them unless you don't really have a choice. Because I don't know, like, because there's so many gods like uh, that are left. You know, I don't I actually know how you gonna how we gonna do them. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I'll just say uh, we can go through these gods, and if like just quickly go through them and say like, uh, like look at this S. A plus and A, there's already enough guards to 
not be able to get out banned and have good matchups into whatever yeah. you're playing against, right? Um, yeah, technically you could put all the rest in one tier and just, you know, you, you go ham, you play what you want, uh, you're good at. But yeah, let, let's just keep it like that, move them down, and then I guess we can just... Like you can yeah. decide if you want to make less tiers or like more or leave them the yeah, same. Yeah, I'll probably just remove C for now. Like honestly, that's yeah. I, I'll maybe like skip. do uh, a E tier and I don't know. Like B plus B is like hard to say the difference, right? But I guess like B plus is like guards that you would pick in in rank. Like I would, for example, still like pick Susano. Yeah, and I would. Put, I would that put Susano together with like some of the other guards. Uh, so, Summer Kong, I mean, you have decent clear, you have one shot potential, you have pretty good escapes I'll, and all that. I also think he does well into the auto attack. Uh, God, well, not well, like, he, he can kind of kite them really well because of his 2 and 3 and ult. Like, he can outrange them, which is something like a lot of the other junglers lack. I actually don't think he, I don't think he goes down. I don't think he goes up, though. He probably just stays I, B+. I, I'm not putting him up for sure, like. Yeah, he doesn't, he can't hyper carry games, but he can, like, kind of hold his own, I think. Yeah, I was talking about the tiers with Poseidon, like, I, I said it could be like a speed pilt, kind of out-farming everybody and all that, but I think that's not really the case into most of the guards now. I actually think he might go up, though. Really? Don't you th Don't you think he, like, does really well into, like, Arachne, Baka, Kali, he will do well Nemesis? But... Like, is he, cause he does well into, like, melee gods, like, have to go close to him. It's like a bit like Kibo, but a bit worse. Like, with his 2 and 1... And and they can't kill him, right? Like he's really fast. I mean, I guess if, uh, if you can get through to like level eight, nine ish without being behind, but I feel like. A, mm. But should you fall behind to I like guess you like what is because it? you can always get wave pressure as well. Yeah, like like I I don't like I think he would do badly into like the the ability like uh, junglers because they could actually like fight him and stuff. Like they don't need to hit him with auto attacks as much. But like like Baka, Kali, Merc. Like, they can't really hit... Like, if you're playing well with your 2 and 1 anyways, they actually cannot uh, get close enough to start auto-attacking you, and I think you get a free early game. I guess, like, the problem is how good is he at hyper-carrying, because playing is actually really hard to, like, play yeah, mid-late game. I, I, I think, like, the possibility of him dying and, like, I don't know, like, a one magical defense item on the front line, then it's, like, hard for him to actually kill them. But I don't know if I would... I don't know if I can, like... Put him A. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'd probably leave him B plus. Yeah, yeah. Can't, I can't, can't put him next to like Thor, Pele, Ravana, yeah. Nike and stuff for but sure. I still actually. think he can be really good for like ranked and just being like a bully, running around, cracking people. Yeah, if you're right. Um, Hemasat. I haven't really tried him. I think the Glacier looks pretty nice for him. Um, yeah. I, I never really know how to play that god in jungle if he felt really like. Like you want to go on backline and try to one-shot them, but if the 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 ADC like hits you in one of your animations because he gets like locked in his two animation, I, like he can't do anything. Yeah, and he just gets he dies. And when you go in the air on the way on the top, like with ultimate yeah. and you're on the way up, you can just die to so many abilities. Yeah. But I think if you get a bit of a lead with the sustain with the mobility he has, like he is definitely like so much carry potential in ranked. I yeah. believe so at well, least. Would you want to move him up though? No. To like, uh, yeah, I think he just has to stay B plus. Um, I think he's just way better in solo as well, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Heimdallier, I haven't played him, and I've not really seen anybody really play him in jungle really, like lately. Yeah, he also got a small nerf. Well, not small. They nerfed his one. What did they nerf? I don't even remember. They, they nerfed his two knock up range. Yeah, they nerfed his damage on his one, I think, and the 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 two knock up range is like way shorter now, or like less of a big knock up, anyways. So, I, I'd probably move him down, honestly. Yeah, I'll move him down, too. Bye! <laughs> Nishar, you love that guard. You, you have to talk about that guard. You're the one that played the most, at least. I, yeah, I loved Nash. I played, played him today, but it was into a god that isn't S or A+, plus, so it felt way better than it should be. Obviously, he got better with the sledge, I think, because he got to play that play style where you're, like, tanky, with HP and like sustain off your two and be really annoying, but realistically he gets absolutely shit on by every god in S and A, A plus. I don't I don't think I would like to move him up, but I actually think he gets he gets fucked by magical DCs, which I think are gonna be really strong in the start of the like this uh, patch because of the ring of Hecate, and he gets fucked by all the top junglers. I I think he probably stays B plus if anything. Yeah, I can agree top. to all that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, she, again, like, you can be set up and they're annoying or at guard, right? But it's a bit harder to play that in ranked if you don't have, like, a good mid yeah. laner or something like that. And you're not really going to carry with, with Naja with that playstyle. Like, the only way yeah. to carry with Naja in, in jungle if you go, like, crit. Like, <laughs> and that's, and like, try to one shot people. 50 50. Yeah. Uh, Susano? New skin. You're the Susano main here, so. <laughs> New skin. You decide. Fucking th broken with that skin. Ah, um, I don't even know because. I think he probably moves like I think he's probably better than the gods MB plus right right now anyways because yeah, he's one of the few junglers that actually has potential to one shot all of the S and A plus junglers and he can one shot the carries uh, like uh, like like magical ADCs or whatever. The only problem is he's really like his early game is not that impressive. Like you're playing for the late game, I'd say yeah, when you yeah. pick Sultano. I, I mean that's the thing I was about to point out. Like you can do a massive outplays against like Quang, Mercury, with Susano. You literally can one shot like let's say Baka. But yeah. I mean you struggle a bit farming wise, but it shouldn't be that bad. I don't know if I should go I mean probably go A, right? Yeah, I think he goes A at least. Cause he actually like one of the the few junglers that still have good matchups into the top junglers. Yeah. Yeah, so Sano A, let's go. I B is like a bit random. Like I don't know. I don't think we should go over the uh, the carries and mages. I just put them in there, so like that stuff I would play if I had to play at a carry. I wouldn't play Medusa. I would play Apollo, for example. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, yeah. I mean, we're not really gonna go. I mean, I, I guess you can move it from B to D, but I guess, I guess I guess move them. I guess you can move them to D, and then you could move like some of the stuff that are D actually like higher if you think they're better there. Until like you can just decide like what's actually like a viable like hunter or mage or like uh, guardian or whatever, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Should I move up the B cards I want to talk about? Because like I don't know, like there's not really like too much reason to bring most of these up. I mean, Yamir could talk about a bit. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, made guess on buff. Yeah, it's kind of like weird because I don't know how like guardians. Okay, like basically, like I, I played in PTS Guardians, they get so fucked. Like after like six, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen minutes, they can't clear anymore. Like they're, they're they their clear got really bad because the the big minion is really tanky yeah, now. Yeah, and so there's less AOE so, like, and, and more single target. Which yeah, is just yeah, worse you, you, like you, you AOE kill the sides, but then you don't kill the actual big one, and then you have to auto attack like six, seven times. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. I, I so, think the D ones. We don't really talk about they're just like guards you can play and like is okay yeah. compared to the guards that's not mentioned. Could just do the the B guards now, I guess, and then yeah. So we do the B we'll guards, see. and then if you want to move, I don't know if you want to move it to some of them down. I guess you can say like they're still better than these D guards, but they have like a spot. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fenrir, he got brutalized buffed a bit ago. I don't know, like I haven't really played him. <sighs> I, I think, think Fenrir sucks, unfortunately. Yeah. I try to make him work a lot. I don't think the god is good. Like, he doesn't excel at anything. His three that's supposed to counter gods doesn't really counter them. They just kill you because like, you're not tanky. You, you don't, your burst obviously is over like four seconds or whatever. I yeah. just don't think he's tanky. I think he's way better as like a solo laner or support than he's a jungler. Yeah, I agree to that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do another tier first. And would you move him down from B and then put him like between these guards? Yeah, maybe maybe we do that. Uh, I guess I call this B and then the other one B plus. Uh, should I color green? Oh, that's already taken. Light blue, nice. And then this is B plus. Yeah, I'll, I'll move him down as well. Like, I personally don't even like playing Fenrir too much, but if he became meta, I would definitely play him. But I don't think. I mean, I remember like you could do good into pillar, but you can do good into red because you can follow the dash right. But. Mm hmm. But even then, like obviously, Red has the stun, so yeah, could so. go. I don't know. Hmm. Down there he goes. A Willix. I don't really like this card. I really have bad mechanics on it, and you could say that it's like a counter to like maybe Bakasu or Humbats because of the jump. But even then, I feel like Humbats can do outplays into a Willix as much I as a Willix can do into Humbats. I think Willix has really the potential to hyper carry games, but for the like. Average rank player, it's way too hard to like actually carry games with. I think yeah, you have to have really good mechanics, and you have to like be really because your jump is really bad. You can't just like like have bad position. Yeah, your position has to be really good if you ever want to carry with this god. So I don't, I don't think I can to really move well. right. Yeah, sure. All right, set. He got buffs and he got items that yeah. kind of does pretty well on him. 
Like yeah, it should uh, definitely go up for sure, but I just don't know how much you would move him up. I mean, I would at least go like a a probably a. Uh, his one buff is really good uh, if you're like not that good with the character as well, because obviously it helps if you only hit the like the actual one, not the secure minion. Yeah. And then uh, he, he, all the a lot of the items kind of help him. Like I think Berserkers helps him a bit. I think Serrated Edge might help him if you're like. Like yeah. just all ending, and you have to keep using your twos obviously to get the power. But yeah, again, yeah I, I think he gets the buff. Yeah, I mean, just put him A, I guess. Like, yeah, again, this is like early, early stage of of a, of a tier list, is because like there's still a lot of testing to be done. Yeah, but he he can like match the farm of like the other top junglers. Yeah, and, uh, then, uh, and then he's definitely was... better than like Naja and Wukong. You know, he, he can't really yeah, put them in sure. B plus. And then it does fine when it comes to like go mid wave. You just put a two and then you shoot one, and you basically just one shot the wave. Mm-hmm. Um, we already did that. It didn't. We moved it down. Yeah, Osiris. Osiris mm-hmm. in a bit of play of that in the spell as well. I mean, I really like Osiris. Like one of like my favorite characters, but I, like he could potentially win a lot of one v ones against these characters. But he is really like in my opinion, he's pretty bad at like dealing with uh, mages. But I don't think mages are going to be a thing. Okay, maybe I'll, like, obviously like a knee jerk reaction or whatever. Like obviously, you could still see mages being played. But I feel like ma- with magical DCs being better, should be like hunters in mid. So Cyrus could get a bit better because he, he deals well with auto attack gods because uh, of his kit. But I don't know if I could move him up really. Uh, I don't. Th- I, I wouldn't move him down. I don't think I want to move him up either because yeah. Uh, it- it's a bit weird, like he is, like he's really good early game, but uh, he doesn't really have a t- uh, potential to carry. I feel like yeah, he's ha- not have a like, carry potential is stiffer. Yeah, not that high. unless you unless you go full damage like attack speed, but then you're still weaker than the other attack speed gods anyway, so it's not really worth it. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd keep I'd keep him B plus too. I'm a Tarasor, a bit fun with Golden Blade and go like full attack speed. You can actually do like pretty good damage, uh, but she's nothing special really. I think I'd move her up though a little bit to B plus maybe. I think she like has potential to uh, actually like out trade. Okay, not out trade the other like top junglers, but she can like have really good burst and like can disengage really well because of her like uh, you, they can't re- you can't really get auto attacked in your ult. And then you have your one as well to like uh, gain distance and shit. Yeah, I actually like, played against her today. She was so annoying. Like you can trade her a bit and then she just runs away and you can't really follow up. Yeah, yeah. I, I could put up in B, like, yeah. Yeah, I think I think probably B plus. She does like really well with any, literally any attack speed item. Like, you just go with attack speed item and you build anyone, and it's probably good on her. So, like, she she does well in this meta, I think. Wait, why is this one called S A B plus and B plus? Why are they both called B plus? I guess can you change them? Yeah, like, what, can you yeah. manually change them? I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah. Wait, what are they called then? I guess I'll just call this one D plus. B, B minus, right? Yeah, B minus. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, B minus. Yeah, B minus or, yeah. or C, I guess. But yeah, yeah, call it C, right? Because we oh, don't wait, have where a C. Where does C go? We A, B, C. C. <laughs> Why is this? What the hell? All right, I messed that up. Oh, there we go. All right, that's fine. Uh, sorry, I stood there. Anubis. I've seen, like, uh, I've seen you play Anubis a bit, and I've seen Sino play Anubis. <laughs> Anubis is like really fun, but he should, he actually should be really good into like the melee gods, but he actually got a nerf with Spear. Well, Spear got buffed, but it was like OP on Anubis. Yeah. Because of how his ult worked. I probably wouldn't move him up. I don't think anyone can hyper K with Anubis. Oh, like, but he is so annoying sh- sometimes. Yeah. Like, like if you really, if you like grind the god, you can probably K with him, but like the normal rank player probably won't be able to yeah. like, just K with Anubis. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Bellona. He, he could be a fun match guy to pick though if you want to play a match. But yeah, Bellona. Um, I, mean, I think she goes down. Like I think she trades pretty bad into. Yeah, I don't think. I guess serrated is good on Bellona technically because you know you spam and then you get the power. But I don't. I just I actually don't think she's like like she's supposed to be a good early game god, but I actually think she's really bad early, which is weird. I think she's a bit of attack, stats, but... attack speed Wait. and damage, then you can like kill Hunter so easy, but. Yeah. I guess Nemean buff might help her on paper, but I haven't I haven't tried her personally, so I'm not sure. I I, I don't think I can move up. If I put Osiris in B, probably Bologna has to be B. Okay, that's fair enough. But I, th- I think she definitely has potential though. With the new Nemean, maybe you go like, uh, like you have Shell with Nemean as your relics, and you like 
just old ADCs or like the old the uh, the back or whatever, and they just like smoke him, and they can't really trade you because you have blocks, a lot of block stacks. Could could be really annoying to deal with, but I, yeah. I, I'll probably test it. But I mean, in some think... in some games, you can definitely do do good. But she's like, I don't know if I, like if I pick her, like okay, she'll do alright at least. But yeah, she's nothing special. Yeah, Manatos. Okay. I mean, I used to like think he's like one of the best cards to like if you just want to straight up hyper carry a game. I'm surprised you put him that low. Like, cause yeah. you like him as well, right? I like to. I, I like him a bit, but like, I don't know. It's hard to say. I I think his problem is like, I actually think that all the all of the gods would probably kill him before he can even get an ability off. Like, he technically on paper he has the chance to one shot them as well, but like, I don't know. That that god is just he. It feels so easy to kill. Like whenever I play jungle, I'm playing against Thana. It's like I see Thana, I blink on Thana. Like <laughs> yeah. I don't care. He's easy to kill. And he's a bit 50 50 when it comes to killing somebody. Like, mission yeah, one yeah. is like, and I also took, take into consideration this is not like, the, maybe not the, like, like a Grandmaster's tier list. This is like for Diamond, yeah. this is for Platinum. I know you can probably maybe carry with him there as well. But I think if you go at AA guard, you have so much more likelihood of. It's of, just, of it's just a lot easier. Yeah. yeah, it's like a lot harder to fuck up on those gods than like Sana, it's like so easy to fuck up at. But I would put even, a B plus even pro players fuck up on him, so. I mean, yeah, he's probably, but yeah, he's definitely gonna be better than like Anubis, like that, like Anubis and Daji for sure. Like the Daji is so fucked, I think this patch. So yeah, wait, but you would die down in C maybe, to, but the other ones will still be. I, I don't think like the average rank player is gonna be building Nimi in every game, and like they'll be buying shells. So she, I think she still has a lot of potential to carry there. But I think it, like I think if SPL starts, then people like someone picks Daji, and you see like three Nimi's on the other team, then everyone's gonna like Daji will just be dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can. I can see that. Uh, Ymir, he's like a good clear right? the, because the the frostbite got buffed a bit, so you don't even have to use your freeze to clear minion camp. Yeah, he's like the only guardian that actually his clear is like the same because of his passive. Yeah. But but he's a bit like Thana where you like it, it's so easy <laughs> to fuck up on that god like yeah. like like it's so easy to go zero and six or zero and nine on this god like if you just fall behind early. But yeah. he also has the potential to pop stomp, kind of. But yeah. I, I would definitely not move him up. Oh. You can't. You'll, you'll, you'll. Everyone will hate you. Like everyone's gonna be getting you mirror in their games, and they'll be like this guy is feeding every game. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, Mamana, I don't know. Like, hmm. I think he moves down. Yeah, he gets absolutely wrecked by the top guards here. Uh, and cursed Ankh as well got buffed, so uh. it's even. Uh, uh, he's better with serrated edge technically, but like he he loses <laughs> to all the pop, pop, to popular yeah. gods and Ankh got buffed as well. That fucks his shield. The only thing he had left is gone as well. Like, yeah. Mamana yeah, Puku. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Red Tusker, the new fucking Akon. Okay, I haven't played him yet. I've seen you play him, like. I don't know, that god is so weird. I've seen people go crit with him and then they can't like kill people because it's like you just, I don't know, like you have to literally dash on people to kill them. And it was weird because like you would land from your ult, you don't have time to like auto. Like the, the first auto after you land from the ult is so slow because of like your locked in animation. So I don't know if he's even good with the crit, but he's definitely good. Like he's definitely like yeah, yeah. A, definitely... a plus or above, maybe, but I don't know where. Like I haven't like, done enough testing and all that. And I know you can also go like the, the, like the I think the double Acorn two is the best. Uh, yeah, I think the double two Acorn is probably the best, but I personally haven't played it yet, and I haven't seen people, I haven't seen the junglers talk about like I've seen I've watched junglers play him, and everyone was like uh, either go in the three like the the one with five threes or they go the crit because it's more fun obviously like one shot yeah, people. Yeah. It's still way more testing to be done because like there's a lot of new items and stuff. So I'll probably just yeah. say A plus for now. Um... Yeah. Can't put him higher than that, I think. Can I just leave him A plus for now? Yeah. Um Health Red is broke, somebody said in chat. Yeah, I I wanted to try that build, but he gets banned a lot, so not really much much testing. So I'm just gonna put him A plus now. Tell me in the YouTube comments if you have any good experiences with Red Red so far in, in your in your games. Alright, who's next? Circuit. Ooh, okay. I I like definitely my favorite god after Naja Circuit. I'm pretty sure. I've Love Sakat. This is a fun like, guard. I, and... She 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 is the one of the only junglers that actually has a lot of potential to kill these like 
like AA gods, but I think she actually just sucks. Like <laughs> against, uh, I don't like her in ranked. Like I think she's better in competitive and like yeah, she's not a hyper carry at all. Yeah, she so doesn't have the hyper carry, and you kind of like for ranked, you kind of like have to be a bit focused on hyper carry. So like I don't even know if I put her to B plus. Like I think I'd still have her in B. Yeah, I think what's sad as well is like you, 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 you're supposed to be good early game, but farming, and you're literally getting out farmed by every god in the game, like because yeah. of her one is so like uh, it's just like outdated at this point. You know, she only has one ability to clear, and with how often camp spawn, like it's just, you just can't clear fast enough. I feel like you need golden at this point with this god, but yeah. definitely not gonna do that. I am the leader. Mm -hmm. We talked a bit about we him. Do you move him down here? Yeah, or? yeah, we we moved him to B. Yeah. We yeah. might honestly move him lower, but I think C. Yeah. I'll, I'll put him C. Like yeah, yeah, move him C. He's he's also really hard to play. So like normal jungler yeah, probably yeah, would be yeah. able to play him. He poo poo. Hmm. Uh, Eris, I guess he <laughs> probably has to move down. <laughs> I, he actually gets so fucked by all the gods, like the in yeah. the all the meta gods. Like he he can't do anything. They just run at you and kill yeah. you. Your cripple is useless. Not really gonna talk much about him. Down he goes. Also, the, also the the <laughs> tanks. Uh, <laughs> the camp's being tank here, yeah, like he fuck just that. can't quit. Uh, Freyr, some people asked me in chat today, like, Freyr jungle, can we see Freyr jungle and all that? I don't really know if Freyr jungle just because it's, it's ring up Hikata, is that the only thing that got buffed on her? Yeah. And then the A is that. feeling a bit better or something? I feel, I feel like it's just like, uh, Freyr is so strong with Hunter's Blessing and you don't really have that in jungle. You have this, like Assassin's Blessing and you you lose so much by like not having Hunter's. She feels, like I played her in jungle, she feels way weaker. Like the damage you do, you lose like the attack speed and 30 extra damage per auto. Uh, yeah, I'm like, move it down like to see, like I just put it there yeah. so we can talk about her. Right. Yeah, I think we have to move it down. I, I think she just doesn't do anything special. She doesn't, she's not good enough early. Yeah. To like uh, warrant picking her, she's a really good late game hyper carry, but I just don't even know if you can. Like a lot of gods are good at hyper carrying late game, so yeah, for sure. I uh, busted. I'm not really played her. She has like a bit of outplay potential in some scenarios. Definitely high burst late game. I think she's one of the simpler like junglers for like uh like ranked and stuff because like it's just simply you just you ult and use your abilities to try to hit them. Not much else, like not much you can do. She can also kinda like she can actually win one v ones against like the other junglers, but she's really f fucking awful early. I'm like it's actually she insane. Has no chance of getting like decent clear, and especially if your lanes are losing, like the comeback meter like potential is just so low. I feel like at least, and yeah, I know at least I think... when I play ranked, like some of my lanes are gonna be losing. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe move her down. Could probably just leave yeah. her be. I'll, I'll move her down. Like I, I don't think she is the, like the early game is just too bad. But what's going on in early game right now? Yeah. Cthulhu. All right. Uh, Have you played Cthulhu Jungle? No, but I played him solo and he was absolutely fucking broken. Yeah, but I, I feel like he's not going to be able to clear in jungle with yeah. the new camps. It's just like to talk a bit about him and people probably want to see it. I, again, like camps. They are really definitely gonna try him. Single target focus now. He doesn't yeah. really have single target DPS. I mean, I don't know. I'd probably be down in like almost a D. <laughs> yeah, I think he's like a guardian that like he's not his carrying is old, sure, but like how do you even build him in jungle? Like he, he has to be built full tank in my opinion. He's definitely not like you can't build him like Cabra and target a one shot rate. Right? He has yeah. to just be tank and he, you're not gonna carry by being tanky in jungle so and then you go even slower clear as well if you do that yeah right? like, I, I, I can see his clear being really bad like yeah. his all like I'm kind of worried about all guardians being like just absolutely terrible at clearing but I, I'll probably test them more before I can yeah tweet and cry about it alright so last last guard to mention that probably a lot of people wonder is there anything you want to say about Loki there's the golden okay. blade that helps us clear a bit <laughs> Uh, I think Loki actually was kind of like, I think he like went from E tier, for example, to like C tier last patch, like with Golden Blade, because he like you go Golden Blade, then you go like Hydras and full damage, and it was fine. But then people won shell, and then you were really sad. Like I played the Loki jungle game against four shells, and it was genuinely <laughs> unplayable. Like four shells is just like, what do you do? Now they added something called Nemean and it's actually unplayable. Like you, you will literally not kill a single person. Every person you go on has absorb stacks and you can't play the game. I think Loki is going to stay here. I think I think they're going to have to rework him soon. Literally no one's going to be able to play that character. 
not even trying. Yeah, they're talking about the rework. It was supposed to be mid-season, but I think they de- delayed a little bit. I think they might be a bit scared of of all the, the Loki players, uh, the wrath, you know, the wrath <laughs> of the Loki mains. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I think I think he's definitely he's actually like yeah. the worst jungler right now. Yeah, I can agree to that. All right. So, and D is just like guards you can play, but like you can maybe put both on them. Like Kukulan could be pretty fun to play in, in jungle for sure. And not really anything special. Um, yeah, like any of these ones you can play if you're good with. Like if, yeah. if you're a good tier player, you can play tier and. And like, no, we're probably not gonna carry late game, but you can like do well early mid game, you know. Yeah. All right. So if you had to choose a guard that has to be SS tier compared to like all the guards we looked at, it probably should be a guard from the S tier, right? That would make the most sense at least to me. Yeah, for sure. Is I would choose Ao Kuang, I think. I played Ao Kuang like six games on stream yesterday and the day before that, and even a bit today. <laughs> he is feeling really good. Yeah, I think the ring of Hikati is like really strong right now. I also think uh all the gods AO lost to are not top like top tier anymore. Like he gets a buff and at the same time his counters, which are like ability based gods that are kinda like one shot, yeah. are all got nerfed. Well not nerfed though, like they, they just got worse because uh, the other ones got better. So I think he definitely like uh is the best god I, I don't know the best jungler, but he's definitely the one that has the most hyper care potential. Yeah, so you'd be like a really good pick for ranked, and of course, like it's not like competitive, but people like grew up a lot and like make team fights happen. Like there's a lot of solo plays happening in ranked, and Craig, but life still. Yeah, and there's a big chance people don't build anteal as well in ranked. Like people just don't like building anteal, and if they don't, you actually just auto in. Like yeah, if yeah. you don't fall behind, I-, I would say after playing our lot, I would say he's also up in the in the SS. And people are saying in chat, Arachne. I mean, Arachne has. Like plus and minus is. I mean, you can almost consider them both like up there, but I just feel like it's harder to hyper care with the need late game, like mid game for sure. But I think full late game, she's very single target and like, yeah. like a bit easier to peel off, you know. I mean, I think literally I have like a few clips where I literally one shot as Ao Kuang. I blink in three and then have my two one and then a one and one away and I literally one shot people. I think yeah. playing if you get late late game, I think there's way more potential of. Of killing people and the mid yeah. game Ao Kuang with like Ikade and Tilika I mean can you even like box that one on one yeah like like he just has he has too much attack speed this telekines and his two like he just does so much damage in like literally one second and they disappear so yeah it's not fair all right I think that's what I would consider the list Gary thank you for helping and thank you for coming with your input I'm pretty sure that the uh, people are going to enjoy that on YouTube you're welcome. It was fun. Yeah, fucking, I think it was a long list. I think that took like what forty minutes, maybe more. Yeah, <laughs> it, took, it took like forty-five minutes. I think. Uh, well, well, I guess there's some some stuff to watch then. All right. Yeah, it, you. you're welcome. You have any Enjoy last, your uh... Uh... Hmm, last. Okay, don't play a mirror. You you will feed if you play a mirror. <laughs> don't just convince anyone who asks you about your mirror jungle. Tell them it's bad because. Every time someone asks me to play Emir, I literally feed my brains out. So I, I'd like to spare them the pain and misery of that. All right, I, I can agree to that. I'm 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 with the <laughs> no Emir train. You kind of were popping on Emir today, but you know that's support that doesn't count. Yeah, that's 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 support. It's pretty different. Yeah. Um. Well, well, that was fine. Right. I'm gonna dip. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Bye. Thank you. All right, chat. That's the, the tier list upgraded version. I'll just take a oh. well, I'll take a screenshot of it after. Maybe I can do it from here. Nice.